Well, today marks the last day of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and we're ending it with another story highlighting the community. If you've ever driven down Bel Air Boulevard, you've probably seen Houston's Chinatown. Over the years, the area has expanded and evolved, and there's one man who's been there to see it all. Shell Choi introduces us to Kenneth Lee. You can see on both sides. Driving through Houston's Chinatown with Kenneth Lee is like taking a trip through history. Uh, uh, not a shopping center, but they convert into a mixed use. A man often referred to as the mayor of Houston Chinatown. There's not much Lee doesn't know about the shopping plazas and businesses that line Bel Air Boulevard. Born in Taiwan and raised in Hong Kong, Lee moved to Houston with his uncle in 1983. I went to a Houston Baptist. At the same time, my uncle uh, opened up the first Asian store on Bele Boulevard. It's a supermarket called the Diho Market. Now called Jusco Supermarket, the store still operates today. From one store, one shopping center, we expanded to miles and miles of the Asian business corridor. Lee began his real estate career starting Southwest Realty Group, which he still runs more than 30 years later. Hello, John. Good morning. Working to bring more Asian Americans to Houston. When I arrived in the 80s, there's about 30,000 uh, 30, Chinese American, and then about another probably 30, 40,000 Korean American in Houston. He was instrumental in developing Bel Air Boulevard into the center of Houston's Asian community after the city's old Chinatown near downtown began running out of room. Recognizing the potential for development, he began working with politicians and investors, later helping to form the Southwest Management District he's now chairman of. We are probably the most diversified district. Uh, have over 110 countries immigrants living this 10 square miles. Today, Houston's new Chinatown is one of the country's largest. A gateway city, a new gateway city for a lot of international people to come. And when he's not busy volunteering his time or working as chair of the Asian Chamber of Commerce too, you'll find Lee. Yeah, they've been here for about 15 years. But I came here at least twice a week. Enjoying the community he calls home. We're all in a big family. Michelle Choi, KHOU 11 News.